That was, that was so weird, I just don't know why it wasn't working. And then it did the work for the other one, but strange.
<laughs> Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Cos EU Free. Tonight we are in Sandvoort. We are in the Netherlands. We are ready to take on another race. Tonight we got, uh, I think he's new. We got Peppy in the house, and we got a reserve in our old commentator for EU1, EU2 in Red Panda. So uh, he's back and he's ready to return uh, to racing. We are missing uh, someone, I'm not sure who it is, I think it's Ensign and Shane, um, yeah, so we should be good, we got a rebel rolling out in, that's Psygate, so Psygate is the first one, he is on track, so Let's get the track map up and let's get the lap data on. So we are ready to have a good session. We got Panda out as well. I am... Matty's getting his dinner as everyone should... Would have heard. Um, so... We are following Psygate around. He is first one out on track. Sandboard is a tricky track to get right, and you can already see the back end sliding on that Red Bull. Um, it is not a very stable car. Um, so, I forgot to put up the standings st again. Oh, and he's warming up the tires now. Uh, we got Red Panda behind, he's also out, uh, ready to start his first lap of this season. So Psygate is going on to the straight now, he's gonna open the edge, you're gonna try and go into turn 1 with maximum speed as possible. You wanna break just before the 50, you wanna almost touch the inside curb, you then wanna slingshot out of the corner, and you wanna stay in 5th gear through this corner, and then you wanna be low on the banking, and get a good exit, bit of a wiggle on the exit, but that's all right. Then you wanna try and take, have a have good straight line speed up the straight safe gear for here. Then you gotta try and be careful for this section, as uh, if you touch that curb, it will set you towards the barrier, uh, towards the sand, and heading through the long turn ten. He's going on to the straight now, open the ears, you want to break for the chicane hairpin, uh, whatever you want to call it. It's purple sector 2 as he's the first car on track. Uh, heading into the final corner now, it's going to be the ears open as it is. And he's going to head up to the line now and it's going to be 110.9 from Saigate, that's not a bad lap. Panda is gonna do a 111 one, so he is right behind. We got Josh coming in just in front of his teammate. Got Ashton starting a lap. We then have another Red Bull of King Luke. He is he is heading across the line now. It's a 110.6 for Luke. And Maddie should be here. If I'm correct. Yes. He is here. Um, apologies. Uh, Maddie, if you're in chat, you are muted. So... Hello. He is here. Back from getting his dinner. I'm not. I'm, I, I'm here, but I can't hear you. Oh. Oh, hang on. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Okay, good. That was weird. I didn't have to. I didn't want to have to do the next hour and a bit having to listen to the Twitch audio and then butt in when you finish talking. That would <laughs> be very difficult. It would have been difficult. 
Okay, we got two spell. He's finishing his lap now. He went purple in sector two. So this should be a decent lap. One ten point seven. I was about to make the prediction that we wouldn't be far away from seeing people into the nines this evening. But, uh, Hacko, you're going to have to give people the wrath. Because there's two people currently not here that should be here. Yeah, that's true. And it's annoying. It is considering we have to wait for them. Oh, God. What a terrible roadside. But we're back after a week break. Did you miss me? I definitely did miss you. I missed the racing, Aww. and I missed uh, Mitch. I missed watching uh, these guys race. It's been really close this season. Uh, with the uh, at least with the battles on track, been some really good battles in uh, mm. E3. Expecting qualifying also to be a very tight affair once again, especially around a short track. But wouldn't be far away from seeing people into the 109s. I think we're going to have a poll time around about the 1010.1 or 1010.2 mark eventually once these guys have put their initial runs down. But yeah, we've got 15 drivers out there this evening. We're going to give it a go and it looks dry at the moment. Yep, yeah, it is dry. Uh, and we have Ashton. He's only a second away from P1, so that's a good job by him. He's, he's done a good job on his uh, first run. He is usually further away, but he is improving. So that's good. And we have Piney with a 110.6. Goes to the top ahead of King Duke. He is out of sync with everyone. We have Andre. He's on a lap as well. 45 1 through the first sector. He's now heading through sector 2 through turn 9. You're then going into the long turn 10, which we saw Verstappen struggle with in real life. Uh, it's a tricky corner because you have to get early on throttle and then also turn the car, then it's through turn 11, 12. Then gonna go up to the final corner. It's almost one corner, this. Uh, as this one is, is basically straight. So well, we've got the we've got that DRS straight though a lot earlier than uh, what we have done in previous years. So uh, hopefully we we'll see more overtaking from an already powerful DRS and ERS system that we have on this game this year. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a really good track. Uh, just not really in the in the games, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, we got Panda. He's on his second run. He is a tenth guy down through the first sector. Uh, and Ashton is out. He returned in the pits after his first run. Psychic goes to the top with a one ten point three. Ashton is out, but I think he's quite happy with his lap. That was in the pit lane. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, Fair I mean up. it's not a bad lap. He's usually further away. So I'm proud of him. He only 1.3 seconds at the moment. But I would expect that to get uh, that little bit quicker. Uh, Piney has improved a little bit through the first sector. Coming to the second DRS zone around this Zambort circuit. And he has lost that time, so needs a good last sector oh, runs the car wide but there's different lines you can take around some of these corners so uh should be all right we'll see the floor bounce up and down probably yeah, going into how the pits. Uh, looks insane that f that final corner where you have to do so uh is Oh, and Andre is in the way through turn 9. Just heading into turn 9. Um, so, Ducky is going to end his sector 2 now. 49.6 split. He's had a bit oh. of traffic. Has. We're always going to set a lap, but that's not 
comparative because he's about to start his hot lap now. So to, to see him back, he's missed the odd race or so, which has put him out of touch a little bit. Yeah. Ooh. Have you seen the message that we have been given? No. There's a message that we have been given in our VC. And I know that there's only certain people that are able to do that. So, uh, interesting weather update. I'm not going to spoil it yet. It's for the race. It should be very exciting. I'm going to check on uh, my phone. As you'll see it. Uh, lovely. Um, yeah, for the way is currently sitting. I was talking about him. He's currently sitting P3 in the championship. He has missed two races now of the six so far. So he's missed a couple, but he's been on the podium three other times. So uh, one of the contenders to push Luke and the current championship leader, Tuzba, who is on provisional pole. So it won't be plain sailing this evening. And you said a 110.2. I think we I think we might go into the nines here. Um, I think I wouldn't be surprised if we did go into the nines. I said I think we've seen pole around a 110.1, but it's probably going to be a bit quicker than that. Some of the guys have put some really good second runs down uh, so far. Definitely is a bit of a tricky track as well. You can easily mess up and then lose your lap. I don't know if you've done a lot of running around here for tomorrow, but uh, it definitely is. Uh, it is tricky. Two corners in particular where I have been, uh, I wouldn't say struggling, but not feeling very confident. Uh, that will be where Andre is now, the left-hander here. Turn I 10. I can't remember what... Yeah, turn 10. And then, it will be the hairpin where we're coming up to now. There's another left-hander just off, trying to get the power down. So, uh, yeah, other than that, it's been fairly okay. And then the every now and then the just the snap of oversteer when you go through uh, turn three into turn four. But that's because there's a lot of elevation change, which doesn't come as a shock uh, around here. Definitely doesn't. And thank you for the follow, Hennas. Uh, following on way around, I'm gonna go on board with him. Um, Gonna head up to a flat out corner now. We wanna get the car turned in. Oh, he's touched the grass on the way in. Don't wanna do that. And it's flat for here as well. You wanna break around 60 into fourth gear. Wanna s hit the apex here early on throttle. And then you wanna open the airs as soon as you can. It's close, not close enough. Really good. Sector three. It's very tight. Doesn't look slow. That's the thing. Uh, it's just small things in the lab that makes it a tiny bit slower than what is on board. So a ten point three. That's not bad. Um, so that was a really good last sector. King Luke is out there. He's Going straight on, on the curb. Uh, that's the thing I told everyone earlier. You can get stuck on the curb, and it's gonna drive you towards the wall or the gravel. He just improved by his by his own time through there by just over six tenths of a second, just through sector th sector three. Big final sector. Definitely have. Ducky on a lap, he's matching his time through sector two. This corner is really difficult to get the 
entry speed right in. Uh, heading on to the long straight. Definitely want to get the entry speed right. He's going to go on to 111.4. Uh, so. We've got Ty starting a lap. And Ty started a lap. Nathan's just about to do his first bump. Oh, there we go. Well. Oh. Dougie's binned it. He's done a PS3. A full on Danny Rick. Oh, oh. the red ball. That'll, that's Sidegate as well. Can you invite Shane? Uh, yes, I can. Rapidly. Uh, yes, yeah, Sidegate. And Sidegate's then just binned it into the wall as well. So I don't know what's happened there. because he's not there. <laughs> so Ty is gonna end his lap. It's gonna be one, ten, eleven, zero. He's, oh, and Piney's got a five place grid penalty. For collision with Falawe. So he's gonna be on the back foot for now. Heading through is on his final run. Uh heading through turn four. He's got his teammate up ahead. I'm not sure if Nathan is on a lap. I don't think he is. He's gonna get out the way. Yeah, he does. That's nicely done. Half a oh. second up. Yeah, big scrappy low through the next couple of corners. And that hard work of a slip train may have uh, come undone a little bit there. Yeah, it's not the best sector too he's done. Uh, this evening, uh, it's gonna be a down on his time. He's gonna then head through sector three, and he's into the wall. He's binned it completely. Yeah, Ty's done as well. For now, we're starting his lap now. I think if he's got everyone starting their laps now. Yeah, Peppy's about to. Complete his far. Oh, I said that and he's invalidated. There we go. Congratulations. Welcome to Contest of Speed as your first uh, commentator's curse. You're very welcome. Uh, Dan's just finishing his lap very marginal on his time, so it will literally be thousands of a second unless he's had a mega sector three, which he has two temps improvement, but doesn't really go up the leaderboard as such. Nope. Luke messed up his sector three. Two spell is done with qualifying. Falawe is half a second up through sector one. Not uh, half a second, half, half a tenth. Te half a tenth. But Pipetex, uh, one and three quarter attempts up. He had gone purple, personal best, middle sector. And he is coming to the line. Oh, he lost it all. Oh, he lost three temps in the final sector. Have for love it going through this final corner now. He's going onto the straight. He is gonna take the check a flag. It's not gonna be an improvement. He messed no. up. Nathan's gonna get himself or oh, not quite into the top ten, but one eleven flat. Shane, you will be given a, a car now, and it will be put Wait to, kick to the start. Step. Shane, probably. only so much I can do. You should be given a car now. Uh, in a second or two. So, we got the top three with two spell. In the Aston Martin, we got the Sauber of Andre. He's done really well lately. And Luke is P3. 
we didn't have a Psychate in the second Red Bull, we didn't have a Flower in the Visa Cash app, then it's Red Panda reserving for tonight. We have Piney Penguin, MP7, then it's Pipe Tech, then it's Dan, then it's Ty, it's Nathan, Josh, Dougie, Ashton, and Peppy, who didn't set a time in qualifying. And it will be Shane at this bottom. I couldn't even see the weather prediction. Um, and only. It doesn't want to show on my uh, my phone. I have seen it. Uh, I I am not gonna. I'm gonna let it happen. I'm not gonna spoil it for anybody. So we are waiting for everyone to choose a strategy, choose the fuel, choose the tires, uh, and then we will see what how the race will unfold. We've got one, two, three, four, and we have five lights on, and we are gonna go in just a second. We are out, and we are go for Sandwood in EU3. We've got a good start from Two Spell, good start from Psygate. He's up to second place already it's gonna be Andre dropping down Luke dropping down we then have a fight for P6 it's pipe tech up ahead of Panda then it's Nathan up into P8 already he's he's had a good start on that medium tire Panda is blocking him in but he's gonna try and do the best he can Pine is losing places uh, all over the place he did start further down with a five place grip penalty um, it's we are heading into sector two now, and it's one line of stern for now. We have Panda oh. doing a move on Pipe Tech. That's a good move, sending it down the inside into nine. Then it's it's gonna and try and make it work. Just got it done as well. Very tiptoe down at the uh, into the first corner from the back of the field. Uh, everybody try and sort themselves out. Party's gone for a move because the hash. Of Pepe broke a little bit earlier than he expected. Uh, and we have got a spin. Oh, it's Panda on his return. No, and that's front wing damage on the right hand side for the Mercedes driver. But it's Wizard that leads the way by just over half a second uh, after Psygate's made a great start up two places. Uh, other than that, not really been too many winners and losers. Shane's gone deep into turn one and hit back the back of one of the Hasses. And that's front wing damage on Shane. Josh is out because he's collected Nathan. Oh, and that's a virtual safety car. That's that's Nathan in the barrier. Josh is that's good. out. Or vice versa. I just saw two cars go spinning off in the background whilst I was watching Shane hit the back of a hash. Uh, Panda. Oh, no. Paco. Why oh, it didn't game? change his wing. Yeah. Why has it changed the wing? That's unfortunate. I'm not going to change the safety car for virtual. It's going to go at any time. <laughs> <laughs> or is it? That's the no. thing we never know with this game in the box. Well, Andre is on the hard tire. We can do tires quickly. Um, then it's, it's medium, soft, hard. Medium, medium, soft, medium. Hard. As you can see. So uh, it's a. Uh, some people got different strategies t for tonight. Uh, I'm not surprised someone started on the soft tire. It's. Sh I've been told it works really well around here. Um, so we are gonna go back running in just a second, hopefully. Uh, Yes, we are go again, and Andre has been left for dead after that virtual. Um, he's he's got Luke all the way 
on the back of him. He's going to have a hard time keeping that Red Bull behind. And the second Red Bull is now going to try and put pressure onto the uh, Ashton in the lead. Uh, we got Nathan in the pits, we got Panda in the pits, uh, both changing their front wings. We got Folave trying to f follow through with Luke. Luke is gonna try and take the inside into turn 11. He's gonna take the space, but Andre is fighting back. Bit of a snap uh, for Luke, but he does get the move done. And he's now gonna be into P3. He's gonna try and hunt down the leaders of this race if Andre lets him. Falavia might even try and make the double move into turn one. Beautiful helicopter view that we saw there of the guys giving the, each other enough space there. As Falavia does make that double move, Hako, into turn one, using the DRS. However, switch back from the Red Bull, but the uh, RB is able to... Uh, oh, oh! And then squeezed him on the inside of turn three. Yeah, not how enough many space times there. We, How many times have we seen that happen when we raced here? A lot is, is the answer to that question. We've seen it a lot. Uh, and Piney is... Retired in the pits. I think Retired in the pits, yeah. Something must have gone wrong for him, I think. Um, soldier on. Andre is on the hard tie, so his uh, time will come later on in the race. Um, it's completely dry for now. Um... I don't um, have the weather update. Uh, you oh, do. I do. I'm not going to tell you where everyone is. Uh, but yeah, you can see Andre and Ty there with the intervals. The ones, uh, the two guys really kind of struggling in terms of uh, warm up on these tyres again uh, after the VSC. Psychic and going uh, for the move into turn one. He's going to try and get the move done as they got for Lava catching up behind now. Um, but. Two spell keeps it in the lead for now, so those yeah. medium tires are working really well on the Essen. Round and round the out and round the outside as well. How often do we see that in the actual race? Uh, just a week or so ago, where you saw the drivers hold it round the outside more than trying to go to the inside. So definitely, we'll see probably more moves to the outside rather than people throwing it down the inside like a traditional move just just because the way that the corner's banked i suppose yeah the banking definitely helps with that uh duke is just about staying within the one second of what i've ever had uh he's struggling to keep the pace of the rb we have the two houses fighting uh or at least swapping places um so ducky is into ninth place now peppy is into tenth we have shane dropping back from the two houses we have ashton in p12 he's done he's, he's had a decent start as well two spell is gonna lose the lead now he's gonna try and make the move around the outside work again we have a mclaren spinning in sector two and we have pipe tech going for a move into turn one uh so pipe tech is now up into the top five andre is dropping off those hard tires are not working for now um Falave almost within the one second. Luke is on the back of him as well. So uh, they're gonna get into the top four battle in just a second. <sighs> oh, Saigon oh. just put oh, under so much pressure. Yeah, he's definitely put under pressure. And so is Andre. He's gone wide and uh, that must be turn eight i think uh onto the curb and straight on he goes so dan is now up into p6 uh to note aston both the aston martins are currently under fuel the only two cars on the track at the moment are in that in that scenario so both aston martins are under fuel as it stands so two spell taking the lead back from Sigate in the Red Bull. We have three Red Bulls fighting for the lead. Sigate struggling a tiny bit on that soft tire. Um, Luke is gonna try around the outside. No, he's fixed better of it. Uh, 
you won't make that work uh, in that corner. Oh, and Sai gets gone onto the curb, and that's. Oh, I know, Battle for Fifth is tying up a little bit here. There's six of them. Pipe Tech is definitely becoming the cork in, in the bottle, being yeah. pushed by. He's got damage, that's why. Andre is trying to get past the Aston Martin as well. Dan's going to go around the outside. Gets it done. Left space on the exit. And now we've got the Sauber and the other Ferrari. And both the Haas drivers now closing in. Yep. Pipe Tech does have that. Yes, though Luke is going for the move on Fulawa. He's now heading into second place, so he's gonna try and catch up to uh, Two Spell as Pipe Tech gets the move done on Dan. Can Dan make the switch back work? No, he cannot. Uh, he's gonna stay behind for now at least and try and make the move work again. Saw different lines there. Dan went to the outside. Andre tried to look go on the inside, but Dan with the outside. Line gets a better drive off the corner, both of them side by side. And and round the outs. Round the oh, and he round makes the it. What a move! That's a ballsy move he made. I I wouldn't I wouldn't dare to make that move myself. Uh, that's that's a great move around oh, the outside. Oh, I tried to clip it, but I'm terrible. Yeah, it done it. <laughs> So Pipe Tech is now into sixth place and Luke is within the DRS of two spell. Uh Falava is now struggling a tiny bit. Uh Pipe Tech is gonna be dropped in just a second. He's got that front wing damage. Uh Luke is setting fastest laps. So he mm -hmm. de he's definitely on the pace uh tonight. This this is more like it from Luke turning the wick up on the championship leader right what can dan do in terms of trying to close this gap gap between the top four and everybody else about six seconds and then everybody from fifth down to uh, tenth place is quite close together yep all that battling didn't help anyone uh flower is struggling to keep up with those two actually he's uh, at least dropping back a bit um so he might just be saving tires, that could be it as well. Um, you never know. Oh, two houses fighting through turn 9. That's Peppy up ahead of Ducky. Uh, so the two houses are fighting. And Pipe Tech is going to be under pressure from Andre. The two houses are fighting mm. again, swapping. They've just, give, they've just swapped back. I think Peppy's just let Ducky back through. And Ty is putting on the pressure on Patrick. Oh, oh and it's a double for the lead. For Lava and two spells side by side. Now it's going to be into here. It's really oh, difficult. I oh, to go just about. No. Yeah, they did it well. Just about. And now Luke's going to oh, try. Oh, we've got big front wing damage. Andre hasn't got any front wing. Yep, that kicks over is going to struggle to turn the car. Sygate's been into the pits, he's gone on to a medium set of tires. Um, two spell is struggling know. to stay within the DRS of Luke. So Luke I don't is know what exactly has happened, Hako, but that train of five drivers is now completely split up. Uh, Pepe's just run deep into turn nine as well, so I don't know if there's been a problem there we just got that wrong but yeah the, that train of five that were very close together now oh i didn't hear the end of it um we have a flower tries to go for the move or uh, into turn one uh the top three battle is heating up we have ducky he is right behind ty now He's gonna try and make a move work if he can. No, stays behind for now. Pipe tick is into the pits. He's gonna change that front wing and uh, get a medium set of tires on. Psyched is gonna move past him. He's gonna be catching up to those guys in front. Shane is now into the top 10. He's on the soft tire. He's got front wing damage uh, as well. 
I'm pretty sure. Uh, yes, he has. Yes, does have front wing damage. Um, so Falav is putting under pressure on Two Spell now. Two Spell got, has got a f championship to think about, so it can't be too aggressive. Um, that's the thing. And we have a lap car coming up ahead. That's uh, Panda. He's Panda. been into the pits twice, and Shane's got a penalty. That's an impressive round here, considering you don't want to be off the track because it just punishes you anyway. But yeah, with that front wing damage and on those soft tires, I can't imagine it's very nice at the moment. Uh, two spell and Flare with Flare down the inside. Two spell trying to hold it around the outside again. Uh, I think this time, though, the RB will go ahead of the Aston Martin. Um, it's amazing these three are still fighting, yet they're still putting that gap over everybody else. Yep, these three are absolutely flying tonight. Uh, Luke is, he's, he's got a big gap uh, to the guys behind. Eight, eight tenths around you, it's still a massive gap. It's enough to not get overtaken on the straight, uh, even if you don't have ears. Um, so, he is doing good and he's getting DRS on the left car ahead, so maybe he can use that to his advantage. Uh, you never know. Nine tenths. He's almost dropped them behind. Dougie's still sticking with Ty. Uh, Pevy's falling back now. Yeah, Pepe's just made a, a couple of mistakes really in the recent laps. I think where those tyres are starting to uh, wear away. But he's doing well on the battery. Quite a few of them are doing well on the battery front at this stage of the race. Yeah, Panda's now being lapped. Uh, he's a lap behind the leader now. He's on to the hard tyres. He's already done his pit stop. Um, he's going to hope for a safety car uh, at this point. And Luke's got the gap. But it doesn't matter because uh, Panda is giving gears to the guys behind. So he might have broken the gap, but it doesn't matter that he broke the gap. No, they're being, I think they're close to start off with anyway. Um, but it's been very back and forth. They've, they look like they're going to drop out, and then they, the next lap they've dropped back in. So, um, well, it's going to be who's going to pull the trigger first out of these three. Yep, definitely. Uh, Ducky is five tenths behind China. China, he might try and go for a move into turn one. Yeah, Dan, Dan is has come in. Yeah, he's into the pits. Uh, Ducky into turn one, will he go for it? No, he stays behind. Um, he's on to the mediums and he's feeling quicker than Ty for now. Psygate is going past Aston Martin. That's just now coming out the pits. Psygate's been really early on it. Uh, yeah, top eight now have probably a complete pit stop ahead of Shane, who's down in ninth place. They're out there on the soft tyres, though. Uh, and with half a front wing, so persisting with the car, it probably doesn't feel very nice, having said that, but look, he, this is more than what he was doing last time, so by this point he got disqualified, or very close to getting disqualified. Oh, and he's just cut the corner, why he cut the corner there for? Uh, six seconds for Shane, I understand for. That's impressive. Um, Flower is now catching up to Luke. Two spells into the pits. He's dropped back. He's gonna go for a set of hard tires. Uh, Ty is being attacked from Dougie behind. No, Dougie's not gonna send it here. They are now up to P3 and P4, but that's because two spells into the pits. He's gone out of the pits in P6. He's ahead of Sidegate. Um, not by a lot though I expected that to be a bit more and it, he, he isn't so Sargate's done pretty well to 
Yeah, but he's on quite a bit older tyres though. Well, five laps earlier and on to medium, so... Yeah. With the uh, shout of inclement weather occurring at some point in the race. Who knows how it's going to pan out between these two. Definitely. Uh, for now, we're now uh, trying to go for the move into turn one. He's going to take the inside line and he's going to make the move work. Oh, Shane's made a mistake. He's off. Just seeing oh, that. Oh, That's why Saying yeah, that, Falau has gone in deep and Luke is trying to keep it on the inside, but he backs out. That's a smart move. Doug is into the pits uh, on the medium tire. Uh, Pappy is now going along in P4. And it's hard tires for Dougie as well. Oh, Sykes had contact with the two spell. He got ghosted yeah, going into turn one. And that could be two spells breather then. Uh, X427 has come out ahead of Dougie, who's just slotted in behind. Yes, then Martin, that's a that's a good stint, opening stint from Dougie. Uh, Dan's made a mistake though, and uh, Dougie all of a sudden is behind the Aston Martin. Yep, and he's on the fresher tyres as well, uh, so he's. Uh He's in a good position now. Oh, and Dan's gone wide in turn eight. Pressure. And for King Luke takes the lead back from Flower. They are still going strong out in the front. I've noticed uh. Luke's been on the curb in turn one quite a bit, and it's been on. It's car that is stable. Curb. That inside curb is not very nice indeed. Uh, Pepe is in. A uh, gap to leader between Wizard and uh, King Luke for those that are interested. It's around 23.3 seconds at the moment. It's just going up and down a little bit. So Almost we'll keep a pit an stop. eye on that. Yeah, it's about that pit stop window. So it's going to be quite tight depending on how it, the next couple of laps go. Uh, the guys are still staying out on those medium tyres. That is uh, some good work. Shane has got 10 seconds for speeding the pit lane. So far, he's on 16. Aston in P10. Shh. He has got to make his stop, though. But. Aston is in P10. Penalties. Penalties. And the weather. He's on the hard tyre. He is on the hard tyre. Uh, there is a swap. Fine enough. Out front. And, uh, well. This time around, so far, Wizard is about to go through the final corner. We can see how much he's either lost or gained. And I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, it's gaining for the Wizard. Yeah. He comes across the line this time around. Uh, lost a little bit on the straight, obviously, because he hasn't got the DRS. But it was down to stages on that lap. Seven tenths he had taken out. So he's gaining it all the twisty sections but when there's DRS available because these two are swapping a little bit out front he's losing quite a bit of that time back to them so yep and I'm noticing a bit of clouds coming in it was completely clear when we started the race and now clouds are going in Ashton's into the pits he is onto a medium set oh. of tires yeah, just you just think, can he just take those hards as far as he needs to? Yep. Do with that information what you will, in terms of nudge, nudge, wink, wink. <laughs> when the weather is coming. Uh, Falawe and Luke, funny enough, have swapped again. They could probably just make their own highlights package at this point. Yeah, so Wizard gets the gap down to 2.2 seconds here. Where he's going through the third sector, and then from the straight down, he it, it just it just goes, it 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 just disappears into existence. Ducky uh, got the DRS, and he's ahead of Dan. So, I... oh! oh, Jesus Christ! He, did he make a mistake? I know he made a mistake, but was he giving it back as well? That was weird. Uh, so Ducky's gonna try again. Ducky looks. 
quicker. Yeah, I mean he does look of the race. decently quick uh, for now. He, he is good, on the fresher tyres. He's had a good medium stint as well. He, he just the, the opening few laps where he, he got caught in traffic was what un, basically undone him really. Um, and Nathan's overtaking Shane in a really, really weird place as well. Uh, that is a slow moving. Red Bull. That's Sigate. Sigate. Yeah, I was, going, I was trying to work out what colour it was. It's quite dark. A slow moving Sigate. Um, gap to lead. Wizards have not had a good lap here. Um, oh, and Doug has gone past into the hairpin of turn 11, 12. Yep. Yeah. And two spurs into the pits. He, he must yeah, have damage. Yeah, I was going to say, he's, he's had, he had an awful lap. Oh, he, has he does damage. have damage. Yeah, he's getting a wing change. I've... I know they were close, but have... did they come together? Oh, and down through down the inside of Dougie, and Dougie's not been able to get back at him just yet. Uh, Pipe Tech is ahead of Pepe. Um, oh, Dougie thought about going down the inside of turn four. That's brave. Um, did Sigate and Wizard perhaps come together? They were quite close on the track, and Sigate spun, and Wizards got damaged. I'm just putting two and two together and Could putting some feelers out there. Be this chance for Lava getting ahead of Fluke again. Those guys are going long into the race on those medium tires. It's a really long stint for the mediums. Um, no, I I know what they're doing at this point. <laughs> they're waiting for the weather. They are waiting for the weather, yes. Um, Dan staying ahead of Ducky for now. Ducky wants to get this move done. He's got more pace than Dastrin, but he can't get past us, and that's the thing. Yeah, uh, he's just just making the some just wrong judgments. Calls, and uh, he's probably too far back this time around. Um, yep. Peppy and Pipetech are fighting, so both houses are. Doing some work. Shane gets past Nathan. He's still got yeah, front wing damage. <laughs> yeah, these two have been scrapping at it the last couple of laps, actually. Uh, Nathan has been getting past Shane back down the straight, so Nathan's got the DRS oh, onto the grass. That's not how you really want to do it. Um, and I'm guessing Shane, yeah, Shane's just dumping the batteries to try and stay ahead at this point. Uh, for love, he's in. He's oh, got 10 no! seconds. He's going on to the soft tire, but he's got that 10 seconds as well, so, so you so can go a bit further. To the rain. rain was arriving, Hako, spoiler alert, uh, between 30 and 45 minutes into the race. Yeah, and the thing is, Duke's almost got a pit stop down to tie as well. He does have a pit stop down to tie. Yeah, because Ty will stop. Because uh, he's not stopped yet. He's done. Hey, he's doing pretty well. He's probably. He's staying out for the weather. Dan, Dan's just got back ahead of Dougie. Uh, Ty's possibly could get in and out before uh, Dan in P5. Possibly. About 20 seconds or so at the moment, that gap. Yeah, I think he's staying out, waiting for the rain to hit. Um, that will be my bet. Speeding is now 10 seconds, uh, if you like it or not, Flower is absolutely sending it now. He's got those soft tires to work and Luke is going really slowly into the pits. He doesn't want that 10 second, um, so no, he's taking it safe, which is late call, as, late call as well, because pit crew was rushing out, so uh, Flower is out and is going to be miles ahead of him. Yep. But Luke doesn't need to care about that because the 10 seconds will do damage. Tires into the pits. He's going on to a medium set of tires, not a soft tire. So it's gets now ahead yes. into P3. So have the guys gone with the whole Shane's done 13 laps on the soft so we can do it on lighter fuel or are they going with the approach of 
uh, it's going to definitely chuck it down. Oh, Doug is m he's into the barrier. That's a safety car, and he's out of oh, the and race. Uh, funny enough, that's where I saw. I'm pretty sure it was him that crashed in there in qualifying as well. And it is a safety car, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It changes once again. Yep. And that's bad for Ferrari. He's got that 10 second. If I it's was him, I would pit. Brands. Pitting is definitely I the would thing. pit, put on some new soft tyres, and I will come out behind King Luke. That's what I would do. Yep. That would be the smile thing to do. You ca should stay out here. Uh, <laughs> pitting would be dumb. Um, Didn't need to pit the lap before. So. Oh, Pan has gone in. He, yeah, he's still left, but he's staying in the, in the race. I can respect that. Just, I feel sorry for Dougie. One yeah, of strong, one of the stronger races I think I've seen him have. Yeah. Since he started racing here, and it, he, he was pretty good, in both stints. Uh, Ty stayed out because that's because he pitted last time. And he's going to be really close with Ferrari on the exit of the car oh, because they're still on the Dewa. Yeah. He's had the Delta. Um, uh, Peppy stayed out, didn't he? He did on the hard tires. Uh, the Wizard stayed out on the mediums because he just boxed for those a few laps ago. Uh, Sygate soft. X427 medium. Pipesec soft. Andre's going to go to the softs as well. Ashton is. Ashton in 10! P10. He's pitting! Yes! Uh, he's pitting. I'm a bit worried though. Should be playing. What is he doing? Keep going! Come on! Don't slow down completely! <laughs> <laughs> you can't be confused. He's going for another set of mediums. Um, only because Nathan is also uh, the only other put. Nathan is also on the lead lap. Uh, Shane isn't, and neither is Red Panda, but they're trying to overtake the safety car, and I'm waiting for Cody's to intervene. Cody's hasn't killed them yet. Why? Sometimes it does let you go past when you're lapped. It is a new feature this game. That lap cars should be able to get past. Hallelujah. How? Why hasn't Shane changed his front wing? Oh, he's gonna do that in just a bit, I think. Uh, there, yeah, because they're now gonna get ahead of, far enough ahead of the. the uh, yeah, they gotta get a pit stop on uh, the safety car. Oh. What it also means at the moment, Hako, is the so-called inclement weather that has been rumoured to occur could happen a bit earlier before the end of the race, considering uh, we're now under the safety car period. Sometimes they can devil. That's the thing. It's uh, really inconsistent, as everything is with the uh, Codemasters. EA. I mean, still, still code masters. They just bought, been bought by EA. Uh, so, uh, there is a mix. Well, there's mixed tires. Most people yeah. on the softs. Shane, think, click yes. I have a feeling because Panda and uh, Luke know each other that. Luke might have gone on to the rest to let the panda buy, and then, um, then he was allowed to overtake because he was uh, the leading leading car behind the safety car. This is. I think that might be why. It initially came out, but um, we'll be staying out at least another lap. Yep. That's the field is still not together we got the Mercedes safety car it's not often I see that anymore I think well it, it's good to see a safe a uh, well it's not green so it's not crashed yet so oh someone's Pebby's into the pits why are you going Pepe. in now <laughs> I don't get it probably the realization of I'm on nine that lap old uh, hard tires and everyone else is on Oh, put on the stuff! And he's getting overtaken by Ashton! Go on! 
Esther moves are my favourite moves. I don't know about you, but my screen has got quite dark in Mine some places is. of the track. Yeah, some places it is quite dark, but it's still colourful in some places. You can see the clouds, but they're not uh, they're not that dark. It's like they're smiling at us, waiting for the safety car to go in and then relieve the chaos. Safety car might be in the slab, even though we're waiting on Shane. He might just about be able to catch up. So, lights are off the safety car. It is King Luke doing the restart. I am gonna change the out of the what overlay um, and Shane is catching up in the background as you can see um, so he is gonna be on the lead lap everyone is on the lead lap and we are ready to go green again in Sandvold Flava is right behind Luke and uh, Luke has gone and he is ready to pound uh, we have two spell really close behind Ty is looking for the inside doesn't make the move Nathan is making the move Ashton but that's before the line so he has to back out of that he's losing places all over the place Shane is now passed and so is Red Panda uh, Peppy also goes past that McLaren I wanted the safety guard to come in and then the heavens start to open that would have been quite funny that would have been funny that's something that might happen in the YouTube. I, I also be like how it says in yours. I've just looked at the Twitch stream. Like how it says on your screen that it's still the safety car, and yet we're racing. Yeah. Until there's a yellow flag somewhere, should be cleared up. Cool. So we are green, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry about it. And what you'll see. Yep. Andre uh, is um, behind Pytic. Good on uh, safety car period for the Aston Martins as well. It allowed them to. Dock up on some fuel and save some. Yep. They are now still in the Same for Wizard as well. Tooswell is struggling to keep up with the Ferrari ahead. He is oh. on. The s oh, Sygate's defending from the Ashton of Dan. Uh, moves going on. Ashton being overtaken by the house of Peppy. Oh, Panda on the inside. Spun. And hopefully that was just contact. Well, hopefully it wasn't contact and he just got caught it on the curb. Yeah. Uh, spun it round. He's not had a, had the best of returns to uh, league racing. Andre's all over the back of the Ferrari of Pipe Tech. He needs to make a move because in the wets it's going to be difficult. Uh, he's looking for a good exit out of turn 10. He oh, he gets a brilliant exit. Uh, but is it enough? No, I don't think so. No, it isn't. Um, Pipsix got the DRS of Dan. And he's really close to Dan as well. Dan is struggling mm -hmm. to queue up with Psychic now. No, they're all really close to get off. Just the going on board just seeing the car bump up and down um dan is uh, dan's drained his battery he hasn't got anything left he's got nothing that's why we saw the uh red light flash and uh andre can see this train of cars in front of him it's two spell all the way down to andre in p8 who's all over the back of this aston martin in front of us Yep, Dashton struggling for pace, he's on the medium tires, everyone else is on the soft tire. Um, oh. Luke is on to the softs, Falava is on to the mediums, but Falava has got the DRS and those guys have had the pace all race to follow uh, the lead. Oh, Bondre, good traction on exit. Uh, Taco, it's here. 
It is raining. I can see it. So we got some slight rain already. Light way rain. Um, so so it's how heavy and how wet is this track going to get? Dan's got no battery and he's got the DRS open. But it's not going to be enough. Andre down the inside. Great gets that move. move done. Ashton on Nathan and Nathan on Ashton. Yeah, move done. You know what? Ashton hasn't been too far off the pace uh, compared to some guys this race. He's done quite well. Yeah, done very, very well. Considering how concerned he was at the start of the season. This is this is very much more like it. Right. This looking well, better. Oh, Pepe was very slidey. Track turn eight. Oh, is look. getting wet. It looks very damp for some of the. Oh, Flavio almost Sorry. hits King Luke in the rear, going into turn eleven. Oh, and Pipe Six nearly done it. Yep, it's definitely getting wet out here. Uh, some people are struggling to keep on track. Uh, Luke is being overtaken now onto the main straight. Let's it go. I just um, watched. I just watched the onboard of Luke there being overtaken by Falari and just seeing a RB go flying by. Uh, Andre with the switch back on Pipe Tech underneath as Sygate was trying to get a move done on Wizard. Kick Salva's uh, driver up one extra position. Nathan is into the pits. He's gonna pull on the intermediate tires, so he's going. He's going for a bit of a gamble right no. now. He's going for it. Yeah. If it works, it's gonna be a great move. Uh, I was just about to points. say, how is anyone gonna go for it, and how more, much, how more beneficial even would it be on uh, a set of intermediates than? Definitely. Uh, You're cutting out a bit. I don't know if it's me or if it's you. And Shane past Pepe. So Shane liking the in no well, the crossover like conditions. Yep, he's got those six seconds though. And Luke is going past into turn one. He's down the inside and I mean the track is getting damp. You can tell it's getting really greasy, um, especially on this main straight. Yeah, just looking on board with some of the guys and looking at some of the throttle inputs. Uh, they're out there as Red Panda has spun. Pepe and Shane both off into turn one. Pepe looks like he's got uh, front wing damage on the left hand side. He has indeed. Uh, Ashton is then through. Oh. oh. He threw that back in the wall. Um, it does look tricky, but is it worth a pit stop? Are you going to gain that time back? Uh, Nathan, at the moment, hasn't done. This will be his first proper flying lap, so he will be the barometer compared to everybody else. But the fact that the DRS Hako is still enabled would suggest to me it's not quite wet enough as Luke is struggling on power. Yep, I mean I've done a bit of racing on the game lately, and even sometimes when it's it looks dry, it's still into so uh, it can maybe be greasy, but still good enough for the dries. Uh, move into turn one. That's for oh, trying to get it done. Is pipe tech spun? Spun? He has pipe tech's got front wing damage. Uh, right hand side now. Uh, so there's a few guys having to tiptoe around. Yep, and Pepe's in. He's gonna go for the in intercept. I would assume he's lost time to Nathan, but he's also got damage, so uh, could just be a change of front wing. Uh, interesting to see the gap to lead is about the same. Nathan's not really losing time to the leaders anymore. So that would suggest to me that it's inters. Um, oh, be a few guys that are gonna have to just really tiptoe around. DRS is still there, so we got the DRS. Um, welcome, Brooksy. 
we are coming at a good time. We got some weather and we got some dry tires. Yeah, it, it's not great out there. Uh, in fact, intermediate, uh, Nathan's just taken half a second out of the leaders. It's not enough at this stage, but it's enough to suggest that the crossover is uh, is now happening. Although he's just made a mistake to throw all that hard work away. Uh, Falawe's passed Luke. Yeah, two in spells in. Turn. Two spell is it? Oh, it, it, it's whether or not it's enough. There's three laps left. Are you going to gain all this time back in three laps? That or, would be the question. Yeah. I mean, I, I've looked with Falawe and uh, Luke, and Falawe almost lost it going on to the main straight because he had the DRS open, so it's really it's really difficult out there. Um, they're struggling quite a bit. Oh, that squeezed side gate on the exit of turn five. You would think that the soft tyres would work better uh, than the mediums, but they don't. Uh, hold the phone, Hako. Wizard is on the move. That is half a second out of the leaders, just on the first sector. Uh, he's gone pretty much level through the middle sector at the moment. DRS is disabled. We have two laps left. This is going to get very tasty. Who's going to stay out? Who's going to pit? Yep, two spell catching up to Ashton now, and Ashton is catching up to Shane. So Ashton is doing well in these conditions. Uh, he's Ash yeah, he switched off the ERS. He's gonna let Wizard through. He just wants to tiptoe around and try and make it. Uh, the leaders all stay out. Have we got anybody? Anybody coming in? No is the answer. Uh, we've got Wizard now oh, on the back of Shane. Yep, and Shane could, couldn't, Shane couldn't get the thing stopped. Yep, and he's now going up to pipe tick as well. So that's going to be an easy move as well because those. Yeah. Oh, soft he's just going to drive round the outside of him. Why not? Yep. I mean, that's just. There's no way. I, I Look at how badly Luke is struggling, man. He's even being cut up by ties, so the soft ties are completely dead. Where was Wizard? P4? Yep. Before he came in? So, let's see if we can get back to P4. Then we can say if it's been a success or not. Uh, the guys are... Uh, Ty's all over Luke. Uh, Ty's eight and a half seconds down compared to what his uh, personal best is at the moment. Uh, yep. We have got, ladies and gentlemen, we're heading to our final tour of the Zanfort circuit and it's for Laria that leads but there'll be a lot of nervous fingers and feet oh he can barely slow it down for turn one yep Luke struggling in turn one as well oh and that's a Mercedes off that's, that's Panda. Panda yep he's struggling uh Shane is being harassed by a Williams he is being harassed by the Williams can Ashton make the move, no he can't, he's gonna break early for someone, but Shane is struggling, he's all over the place. And oh, and Psygate's gone deep and Wizard's now through as well. Yep, oh, uh, and Ty and Luke's come Ty together. Ty Luke, Ty Luke, Andre's through, uh, Danny's through as well, here comes the Wizard. Oh my god. The wizard, four seconds off a second. He throws it down the inside of Luke. Look at them, they're all tiptoeing across. Yep, I mean, he could even get onto the podium here. Look at he's that, Ty is going to struggle. Yes, he Look is. At that. Underneath from Ty, he's got one to go. And he's even got Andre up ahead, but he's got the superior oh, grip. Andre's and gone Andre's deep. gone deep, he's gone completely in the grab. So is Dan, so is the Ferrari. Oh, and Dan's right behind as well. Oh, he's struggling well, as well. tiptoeing it round the final corner, but it's only seven and a bit seconds. It's coming down all the time. A fly wind. We're just going to get himself into second place. If he had another lap, I reckon it would have been very, very oh, close. Oh, and that's a uh, better behind as well. Ashton overtaking Pipe Shane. It is, and he's got Pipe Tech in front. Pipe Tech hasn't got any front wing. He's going to just try and 
keep it on the island. He can see the Ferrari hurting in front of him. Oh, he's going to get him. Make the move. He's going to get him. Can he make the move? He's oh, it's side move. by side oh, across the oh, line. Right. Just about. What can Pepe do? Can he get close enough to Shane? He will be close enough. And that's a, a point. He will be close enough. Well done, Pepe. Shane's retired. After you stated well, the checker flag. <laughs> yeah. We um we doubted Wizard and we thought he's gonna have to do a lot of work just to get it back to fourth. Yeah. He did have a helping hand. However, that last two thirds of that lap, it was definitely intermediate conditions. Yep, just no one could get the car stopped. Absolutely horrific to be under soft tyres uh, or medium tyres for that sake. So, here we got the results. I'm gonna have to take some screenshots real quick. Um, so, we've got Flavi in P1, then it's Tuzfer, then it's Andre, then it's Dan in P4, almost getting that podium after a decent race actually. Uh, Ty in P5, losing that podium due to a contact with Luke in P6. Then it's Sygate, then it's Pipetech, then it's Ashton in P9. More Th points. And P10 for Peppy. Then it's Nathan, Shane, Panda, Doggy, Piney. And then it's Josh. Three DNFs. Actually, four DNFs. Yeah, well, that was providing drama. Brilliant race. Got to love it. What difference it makes when there's a little bit of weather around. Um, whilst I go invite the people, I shall do my plugs. Week break. Um, AM1 had provided some on track action last week with their rerun, but everybody else is now officially back this week. Uh, AM3 will be kicking off in a few hours' time 9 pm Eastern, uh, 2 am UK, and 3 am uh, Central European time. If you are around and awake to uh, watch our American colleagues. Uh, EU2 will be the next European action, that is tomorrow night at 9pm uh, UK. Uh, you can definitely watch me make a fool myself and possibly hack her. We'll see what happens. Um, we share our nights with AM2. Uh, a M1, uh, AM1 and EU1 next uh, on Thursday uh, for their action and AM1 rounding out the on track action for the week as they do normally uh, next week if Tuesday evenings are your evening of choice and that's all you can do really um, then you can watch E3 again next week 9pm UK uh, we are at Spa Francorchamps and that is definitely known for having inclement weather so make sure you don't miss that one it should be a very very good race it usually is at bar yep spice always a good race um i am not entertained <laughs> he's here the one and only the i one am and only I am wizard. entertained wizard uh, uh, Andre's not going to be here, so it should be Wizard and... Flower. If he can join... Well, we can start with Wizard. He's here. Yep. So, two's film. Welcome back. Um, oh, that was an adventurous drive to second. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. It was brilliant to watch. Uh, you... You, you got a pole for once. I got a pole, so I'm the second ever pole. 
Oh uh, my god, yeah, it actually was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Quite scary. Well, I mean, you, you're you keeping up with Fulava and uh, Luke at the start, so you have brilliant pace even in the dry. Um, but you came... I mean, it, it all clicked in the wets when you went in inters. No one pitted, uh, and it really came to be inters at the end. How, how was your race? Um, it was fun to start with. Um, I think I was I had good pace, but I was a bit down on straight line speed, so I couldn't really race the front two, unfortunately. Um, and then uh, I sort of passed a bit earlier to so I could undercut them and get the front of the second gear, because I was like, I can't race the front two, I'm too fast in a straight line. So I tried that, then I came to give a Sergei, got a bit of damage, tried, tried for a bit, um, then I to box again, because it was just too much. It was probably the brief. Uh, the safety car came in, saved my life. Um, and then I was running in fourth, and I was struggling majorly when it started to rain, um, because my, my car set up was quite low for the downpour, so I was really, really good. So then I decided to split up, and I was like, I'm just going to fix this track. So then I put my box in and see what happens, and uh, it was good fun. It was good fun. It was good to watch, uh, especially that last lap. I think you made like five <laughs> moves or something. Um, At the start of the last lap, I said to Dan on the on the comms, I was like, this reminds me of Belgium 2008, and then it dies on. <laughs> <laughs> the only one that's coming for intermediates, and I'm bombing through the field from nowhere. And uh, yeah, thankfully, I caught Dan at a really good point just before the DRS zone in the middle of the track and said, I'm up your inside, and kept to one side. Um, and we sort of kind of went both ways around to our team, I think, because they got a bad exit. Um, and then Andre fell off the track, and then fair play to Fulham for keeping it on the island because everyone else was struggling and he, he kept it on there. And if he'd have made even one mistake, I could have, could have stolen a cheeky win. Yeah? So well done to him. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say. I mean, that was. You did it perfectly. Uh, pitted perfectly uh, with the, the safety car. Not the safety car, with the, with the inters. Um, one more lap and you would have won. That's the thing. Um, yeah, one more lap. I think at that pace. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but well, yeah, fair play to Pilar. We were done good win for him. Yep, definitely. Uh, congratulations, Wizard, on your podium. And your pole as well. Thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Going on to the winner, Pilar. Welcome back. You, you, you've had a bit of a break. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure I fancied Monaco. Um, I was a little bit busy as well, so I would have had to race back from work to make it. So I thought, let me give it a miss before I accidentally take out half the grid. <laughs> uh, definitely. You came back strong, brilliant pace, and uh, a good battle with Luke as well. Um, he dropped back a bit yeah. at the end, sadly, but uh, it was good to watch you guys go at it, even with two spill in the first stint. Yeah, really good battle. I was saying in the chat that I think he had a slight edge on pace. Um, and especially when I got that 10 second penalty going into the uh, pit lane, um, I think he, him on soft tires definitely would have had the advantage. But towards the end of the race with the rain, um, and I think I probably had one or two lap fresher mediums, I think he just lost grip towards the end there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, how how hard was it to uh, keep the contract? I mean, we, it it looked difficult, but how difficult was it? Yeah, it was, it was pretty much. <laughs> it was getting to the point of impossible. Definitely, if there was one more lap, two spell would have won by ten, fifteen seconds. Because literally on the last lap, I was fighting the car everywhere, in braking zone, acceleration zone. So it was just, it was just nothing. I was just, I saw two spell was about ten seconds behind me, and I thought, let me just <laughs> crawl across the line. Definitely the right choice because that that last corner looked horrendous in the wet. Uh, we, I think we saw pipe tech spin uh, when the DS was up, um, so uh, it, it wasn't. I don't know. It was just yeah. really difficult to get the get the get the downforce to work in the yeah. inters. It's super difficult. I I, would, I was considering boxing for inters, especially in the last three laps, but. I thought 
everyone was so close and I didn't actually know that anyone had put into it, so I thought it should be all right, but definitely lucky there was 26 or 36 laps instead of 37. Yep, I mean, you started you started on the mediums, right? If I, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, yeah. Started on the mediums and uh, you went quite long with uh, Luke. Um, was the plan always to go on to the to the soft attempt? Yeah, I, I, when I was doing the strategy, I did one extra lap um, and I thought if I was losing a lot of pace, I'll just pit early or if not, I'll try to stay out. But my pace and Luke's pace was really strong, so just kept going. But it got to a point where I was starting to, to lose a bit of grip um, through the first sector, so I thought might as well pit and see if I can get an undercut, which I think I would have done had an eye. <laughs> Uh, sped into the pit lane, um, but lessons for next time. Yeah, it's, it's a good lesson for next time. Um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing else to say. Uh, congratulations on your win. Uh, Matty is not here, so he can't ask you anything. Um, so, uh, congrats on your win again. I appreciate that. Thank you. So we are gonna stop the stream now, guys. Matthew isn't here. He's uh, he is PlayStation has died completely. Um, so I will see you guys next time, and I will put it on the ending credits. Thank you for B to BK for the new uh, post race interviews. Uh, whoever it was, pretty sure it was Ma uh, BK who made them. Um, thank you. And uh, I remember to use the safety car. Um, thank you all for watching and we will see you next time around Belgium Spa. Good track, bu brilliant track for racing. See you guys and have a good one.